Question 1. So the index law is very straightforward, provided the big number is the same, the P, a P, and an X, and an X, that uh, the index laws say when you're multiplying, you add the powers, 2 and 7 is 9, but when you're dividing, you take away the powers, 8 take away 3 is 5. Question 2. So similar really, so remember anything cubed means itself times itself times itself, so this is P cubed times P cubed times P cubed, multiplying you add the powers, uh, so P to the power of 9. Now part 2, just deal with the numerator, the top bit first, so um, remember when you're multiplying a whole bunch of stuff you can change the order, so just doing the normal numbers first, 3 twos are 6, Q to the 4 times Q to the 5, multiplying you add the powers it's q to the 9 denominator unchanged now when we're dividing remember we just take away the powers 9 take away 3 is 6 so 6 q to the power of 6 question 3 so remember anything to the power of naught is 1 so 1 part 2 so when we've got a minus you start off by flipping it over so 4 which is effectively 4 over 1 becomes 1 over 4 that undoes the minus bit, but we're still left with the square. So 1 times 1 is 1, 4 fours are 16, so 1 over 16. Now part 3, remember the bottom bit makes it smaller, so that's the square root bit. The top bit makes it bigger, that's the cubing bit. You can do it any order you like, but much easier to go smaller than bigger. So let's start off by square rooting 16 and we get 4. Now we still have to do that to the power of 3, so 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64.